Right. Well, hello. Um, yeah. Now, we're going to be playing Bayonetta today. Um, and there are a few things to explain. Now, this is going to be a re-LP. As I said, I was going to go through and re-LP all the games. And uh, Bayonetta was actually the first LP I ever did. Back when I was just a fledgling little noblet. And I couldn't narrate for shit. Some might say I still can't, but I don't know, it's for some reason it attracts you mental people. Anyway, um, the mic, as you may be wondering, is not Snowball, so that's why it doesn't sound quite as crisp. Hopefully I've got it in the right position to where it can get my voice, I could be fucking wrong. I've maxed out everything on it, so hopefully it won't be a dick. But regardless, um... One main thing that you may notice, which I haven't really done uh, a lot of, is there is no webcam. Now, there's very fucking good reason for this. Um, one of the problems with the webcam, for this game at least, or face cam in it, is um, the cutscenes are fucking long. Or some of them, anyway. There are a few select ones that are just stupidly long. Um, so, I, I, I can, there is a setting on OBS to just turn my webcam off and on, like, mid-recording. However, it sort of has, like, a little blip where it has to load it without the webcam and load it with the webcam. And it kind of makes it look a little bit, eh? Like, if I could get rid of that little blip, then I'd do it, fine, whatever. Although, I don't really see why you need to see my ugly mug on this, but, you know, I kind of like doing the face cam thing. Especially in a game like this where everything makes decal sense and it's really confusing. So, um, yeah, that's why that's there. Um, again, hopefully my mic is in the right position because, you know, my past experience with just using Bogo mics is that they can be a little bit um, finicky with placement and there's no good place to have it. So hopefully it won't just be a bunch of nasally horrible breathing. That is... You know, I'm going to try and make sure it's not like that, but you never know. Um, anyway, that's kind of a LB shit out of the way. Um, the main reason I didn't show it starting up and crap is because the uh, main title thing or the main starting video you know, happens at the start of the game anyway. So there's that. Um, and the final thing, which is that I'm going to be playing this game on the hardest difficulty. Now, you may be wondering why. Well, I'm not going to say I was good at this game back in the day, but I'd like to think I was decent. Decent enough. Um, that, you know, I, while I haven't played this game in about, I don't know, six or seven years, I did uh, have a little trial uh, run to see uh, what the recording was like and shit like that, and trying out my uh, Gato. So, I have played it a bit, but it's been a long time, and Non-Stop Climax gets rid of, um, a, well, it basically powers up the enemies and gets rid of one of your main useful things, which is Witch Time, which is effectively bullet time that you get for dodging attacks. So, it'll be interesting to see if I can actually do this, especially since I've been out of it so long. Um, we'll see how good I am at the game, I guess. But, um, I think that's it. Now, the other reason that I didn't show my sort of trial attempt at recording this, because it wasn't bad, I was still figuring shit out, but a lot of the items and crap were wrong, and I had trouble doing certain things, because this is effectively a um, not completely 100% account, because uh, I haven't gotten a couple of the optional characters that you can get, um, and I haven't beaten a... Uh, the secret boss battle, which I doubt I'll do. I can try it for LP's sake, but I probably won't. He's fucking difficult. But, um, yeah, basically what I'm going to do, because, like I say, I haven't played this before, I, wanted to, oh, I haven't played this in ages, I wanted to challenge, is I'm going to try and speed run this. I'm going to keep the cutscenes in, it is an LP, and I have not played this game in a while, so I don't know what, what the haps is with that. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of the plan. I'm going to see how quickly I can get through this game and see if it either emasculates me or I kick its butt. I don't know. But anyway, we start off with the first of many long cutscenes. Also, I knew that I needed to fucking install this to my hard drive, but I didn't. So loading times are a bitch. Because good
good fucking Christ, I forgot how slow the Xbox 360 was. Anyway, cutscene. It's about to end. I just remembered what this cutscene is. Ah! Ha -ha! Oh dear. I also have, I think, all the sounds turned down. Well, sorting out the sound for these fucking things is really difficult as well. It's all unbearably loud no matter what you do. I've got the sound settings on this thing turned really fucking low. Um, and I've got OBS really fucking low, but it doesn't seem to care. Oh, Jesus! We're moving! Things are happening! One thing that I noticed coming back to this game is it's actually not too bad. I was expecting to get my just dick pushed through my chest, but it's not terrible. I'm not quite as shite as I thought I'd be, although I am against mainly boggo enemies, so uh, yeah. But main trick for um, doing this, really, uh, unless you want to speedrun it, in which case you have got to plan your movements out and actually be slightly methodical, is... Um, you need to mm, just dodge whenever you see someone so much as far. That's generally how I remember getting through this on this difficulty. Um, there are a few things you can do to speed it up. I'm not going to say I ever decided to speedrun the game because I was never that good. The uh, only speedrun I've seen of this game was, um, I think it was an AGDQ 2011? That was a fucking sick speedrun. I, I appreciated that, because the dude was the Don, but um, there are, like I say, with a few of the things that you unlock, you can do a bit better, but it is a bit cheap to just use all the super OP weapons and you get all the transformation shit that you unlock throughout the game right at the start. If you're wondering why I'm turning into bats, it's because I dodge at the right time. That's, that's why. The camera is not a team player here, is it? Uh, another thing you may be wondering is, considering all the dumb shit I've decided to buy recently, why don't I have the Wii U version? Well, I'm afraid to say I'm not ever going to buy a Wii U unless it's a hundred quid. Like, I will only buy it if it's the same price as the P recent PS3 that I bought as well, along with some Tales games, which I'm going to LP the shit out of and love, because, oh man, I've only ever played one Tales game and yet I just love all of them because LPs are wondrous things, and hey, double-headed dragon, do you mind? I don't need you firing explosive balls and swinging your fat ass. or a good lord, man. Pack it in. Um, yeah, you may also notice that this game is a bit of a cluster fucky affair. I know that it was effectively just taken from Devil May Cry, and that's fine, but it's sort of like... It's not really a spectacle fighter if I can't see what the fuck I'm doing, but that might change. I know it gets better. But yeah, I don't have the Wii U version because I will never have a Wii U. I am eventually going to try and blag one off of a work colleague, because I know he has a Wii U, because he bought it for um, old school JRPGs that you can just get on the Nintendo store. Um, and he did some stuff, and then he just stopped playing it. Because he has a PS4 as well, and he bought The Witcher 3. So, I might try and coax him with some thins and cheese. And fuck it, you know. I'm going to buy Bayonetta 2, and he gets a free game out of it. So, it's not a terrible deal. It's not like I'm going to run off with it. I work with the guy. It would be a bit difficult, and it would be a bit pointless to skip town for a 200, 250 quid console, I think. With the tea tray? I can't remember. Anyway, um, now, now it's the long cutscene. Well, I, I, no, wait, no. No, there's two long cutscenes. Yes, two long cutscenes. Enjoy.
Or not. It will be in a second though, when I start this. Yeah, now it should be long cutscene. I, like I say, I played this game last week, I played through the starting bit, and I don't remember any of it. Go figure. How it works, I guess. Um, there was another thing I did, I wanted to explain. But, I don't know, you guys might actually change your mind and want it in there, but, uh, there is one reason, why, another reason why I got rid of webcam. Anyway! Ten minute cutscenes, I'll skip past it if you don't want to see it, but it's kind of funny and weird in the usual, um, this the Platinum style, because they're odd, odd people. But lovely. I love you, Platinum, but you're a bit weird. Looks like Humpty Dumpty's taking his last fall. Even all egg men the destroyer get scrambled in the end, right? You know, I still don't get why the hell you dragged me out here for these things. I just drop off the merchandise. Hey, bet you can't guess what today is. Reading the good Lord's book ain't gonna do much. People been waiting for this asshole to get whacked for ages. Please. Hell, look around. There's no love lost for old Humpty Dumpty. But you gotta keep the outfit happy. We don't take care of him, they take care of us. And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. But hey, it's that kind of town. Without good hearted souls like us to put these bastards six feet under, where'd society be? Of course, the pay's not bad either. <laughs> Jesus, you really get into this shit, don't you? If it were me, I'd be praying he ends up barbecue. Or at least sunny side up. <laughs> you can keep praying, but the only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of hungry, we done here. My kids are baking me a birthday cake tonight. Cute little fuckers, I tell you what. Well then, adios. What the fuck? They're here? For this douchebag? I can't see a thing! Oh! But they're there, ain't they? You hearing me? You, you can see them, can't you? I see them. They are instruments of God, descending upon his heavenly rays to earth. Oh, my God! Dear Lord, grant us guidance, and keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity.
Next time you want your hands on me, you better make sure I'm dead. Now move out the way. Go, go, go. Oh, 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 Dad. If it ain't my good buddy Enzo, how about you get out of here? You die, and I'm gonna have to go back in that hole chasing after the money. Deserve a good banking. Shots from me, Bayonetta. Huh. As long as there's me, I'll keep on dancing. Huh. Okay, well, there you go. Cutscene over. Alright, now you may have noticed I have a lightsaber. Many reasons for that. That is the uh, weapon you get for completing this on a uh, non-stop climax. Now, uh, before I started, uh, I said that there was a thing I wanted to talk about, which is uh, no webcam. Now, as well as uh, turning it off for cutscenes and stuff, one of the reasons that I want to turn it off for cutscenes is because they're so incredibly long and I'm not talking, I'm just sitting there doing nothing. Um, not only does that make it awkward, but you also kind of have to see my odd reactions. Now, considering that this is basically just... Well, it's... I'll get into my thoughts on it later. But the cutscenes are basically just... Here's some nice cheesecake for you. You fucking weirdo. And I have no problems with that, but... Being British, and therefore generally completely desensitised to the whole Hey, sex is cool. Um, you kind of look at it with a mixture of, oh, this is nice, and, oh, what the fuck, did stop, ah! So, it's an odd thing. Um, I might, if you want, for people who do decide to watch this, I can put the webcam on and just have me sitting there going, hey, ooh, confused mix between aroused and, well, this is just exploitative. 
just because I have a pair of gonads it's got to try and grab me by the wrinkly undercarriage. So, um, I don't know. I can do it if you want, but it's just a bit weird for me. Um, it's a smidge awkward. And seriously, dude, come on, man. Fuck off. Uh, I don't remember if I had the instant heal item. I can't remember if I bought that again from, uh, Rodan. Eat my laser pistols, bitch. I don't remember what you get the laser pistols from. Oh, these guys! These guys can suck my taint. I do not like these guys. They suck. Oh. The problem with these guys is they are entirely reaction. They are effectively just instant. You can't keep up with their shit. You have got to be Jesus down on armor Christ, and this is like the third set of enemies you get given on non-stop climax. You get one hit in, and then you are dodging. And I'm gonna fucking die! Please tell me I have the heal item. Oh, I don't. Oh, that makes it painful. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, man, this is gonna be rough, isn't it? Now, the reason I wanted to have this installed on my hard drive was because when I did the test thing, it managed to quietly crash behind a loading screen, something the game has never done. In fact, the 360 version is usually nice, competent, and reasonable. So I don't quite know how or why, um, but it did. Uh, I'm gonna activate my lightsaber! Yes! Yes, it extends! God bless you, Pillow Talk, for you OP bastard. And it's an instant kill. Pretty much. Unless it's the super big enemies with health bars, it is an instant kill if you hit them. The uh, slash. And I like that! I appreciate that! It is pretty much required for this fucking game. Or this difficulty. Ah, oh, really? Dude! Piss off, you stupid bastard! Alright, these fuckers again. Get in! There you go. Let's get straight in. Do not bother focus firing, there is no point. They're gonna get up in your face anyway. Oh, fucking bastard! Horish! Alright, ah, come on. Hey, easy, easy. Oh, fuck a doodle do, man. Oh, these fuckers are so OP. I do have one little thing that does help me a little bit, which is I have a um, item which, if I press in the direction of the, at yeah, the attack, I can block it, which is really good. Um, it's just a little bit finicky to uh, use, practically. Fuck. Oh my god, I fu- Oh my god, I'm not dead. No, now I'm dead. Shit, man, come on! Now, yeah, the absolute 100% failure of this speed run is if I have to start editing out deaths. But the hope and the dream is that putting it on the hardest difficulty should at least A, have to make me work for it a bit and B, should provide some um, decent enjoyment from watching me die a lot because some of these bosses get fucking difficult. Like, seriously, some of them are just absurd. Oh no, you can't block me during my lightsaber extension! Why would you do that, man? Well, I probably should... Actually, I know what I should do. I keep forgetting this. Like, I'm still sort of getting used to having the game back again. So, uh... Yeah, I, uh... Forget that there's stuff that I can do and abuse. And I will now start abusing it. I don't really want to abuse healing items, but for the sake of actually getting through this shit at a decent pace, I probably will. Hey, go ahead, you! You cheeky bastard. Come on, extend. Oh, I fucking missed him. Oh yeah, I can use my bloody torture attacks as well. Let's abuse that and all. Get rid of these fuckers. There we go. Even though it won't kill him, it just... Yeah, it just does a lot. Which is what I want. Like, I'm fine with that, I'm not gonna fucking complain. Ooh, hey, easy buddy, easy. Ah, what? Why'd you retarget? What the fuck? Why are you teleporting? Back your shit in, man. You pretty much just have to get a hit, dodge. Whoa, hey, easy. Oh, fuck a doodle do. No, this is not happening right now. 
Oh god, it's so fucking happening. Oh wait, no, back. <laughs> Run away, get the items out. Oh god, I'm so fucking cheap. What the fuck did that do? I don't remember. Oh, that's why I have 99 of that thing. I don't care about increasing attack power. Um, That doesn't really heal it enough. I use that. And that. Because I'm a little pansy baby. 